Hey guys, welcome out to the range. I just finished filming a bunch of videos for you guys and I checked my to-do list. Industrial Velcro, gotta love it. I checked my to-do list and found a video that I could actually do without firing a single round. Basically the notation that I made says, talk about the different things that you pick up in training. For example, why you carry appendix while you choose not to have a weapon light, the nuances of comfort versus concealability. All right. Um, this is now my go-to handgun. This is, for all intents and purposes, this is a 17. It's actually a Glock 22. My friend Brian Flanagan is the owner of AIM Surplus, and when I was on his website not too long ago, I noticed that they're doing laser laser services. And the workmanship on this is, is just, man, it's on point. Beautiful. Um, laser stippling, finger groove removal, undercutting for the middle finger, forward cut for the support hand just really really nicely executed piece um, drop in slide from aim surplus with trigicon uh, suppressor sights and a trigicon rmr04 which is fiber optics driven because you guys know i do not like battery driven um, optics uh, 416r stainless steel target crowned barrel from aim surplus beautiful 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 handgun so this legitimately has now become my everyday carry handgun and I carry it in a holster that my friend Philip um, actually I'm not going to tell you his name it's funny because uh, you know I'll tell you my friend Philip McGuire um, he's an electrician so no he's not making holsters so don't like race to the internet and go try to find one he made me what is the tier one citizen concealment holster it is buttery smooth all the edges are rounded nothing to bite at you rmr compatible love it the retention is like off the chain because this is old school kydex bending and the, the it's a thin kydex and it is guys it's actually comfortable ish to wear this has a very low suck quotient um because it is a very big gun you know you got it down there near your stuff and you just you know like when you have stuff near your luggage it's kind of painful i mean it is what it is but it's not terrible and um anyways this is my go-to holster and what i like about it is it really hides it does a great job of just hiding in plain sight and right that's the beauty of it then 21 rounders from magpul they go in the tech pocket the GL9, uh, the GL9 um, 21 rounders, they go in the tech pocket of the pants and the cover garment just covers them. And I normally have a flashlight right here as well and everything stays straight up. So when I reach for something, it just comes straight up and out. Then I have nothing else from a tactical standpoint that's going to be poking. I've got a, um, I've got the uh, Shivworks clinch pick down here and then I've got a Cold Steel Voyager 2. That is like my everything knife. Um, and that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. And then I've got a little flashlight over here and chapstick and a lighter and then my wallet and keys and whatnot. But the point is I don't have jabby pokey things that are signaling, ooh, he's loaded or, you know, he's, he's armed. Because you have to hide in plain sight. You go to Walmart to go buy some groceries. You go hither, dither, and yon to do whatever. You can't, you can't be telegraphing that you have stuff on your person. So... But but then let me let me finish that thought. But then when you go to training, if you go to training and you show up wearing a war belt, you're cheating yourself. I know someone just got all hot in the comment section now. But I go to training and I see guys wearing stuff. And then when we finish the class, we all go out to dinner. And I so badly want to go. Hey man, where's your war belt? And, right. So the dude's got like a like a Glock 17 or bigger in his war belt with all of his goodies on but then we go out to dinner he's got a Glock 43 stuck down the front of his pants you're cheating yourself guys you're just you're lying to yourself because what you're doing is you're you're spending energy doing reps with a gun you're not going to be carrying when the fight finds you if you're not fighting if you're not training with the gun you're going to be carrying when the fight finds you you are wasting energy and it's a very expensive waste of time so that's my two cents on the matter. These are the things that I've learned by going to training.
to date it makes 78 classes. Next month will be 79. And and I'm never going to stop training. As long as I draw breath and can move efficiently, I will continue to attend training. My life as a Tier 1 citizen demands it. I'm responsible for the lives of those around me. Anyways, um, that's what I have for you guys. I just wanted to share these thoughts with you. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'm glad you're here. Uh, this is an independent channel. There's, there's no corporate poking and prodding here. Everything I do out of pocket, everything I do, I do out of pocket with the support of my viewers. Um, and I thank you guys for your slink purchases and your donations. And it keeps the channel independent. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.